Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we are doing an awesome tarot reading. Hope you guys are well. It's Friday, woo, right? Yeah, and so, mm-hmm. And happy spring and happy, you know, just happy, happy day, right? You guys know that song? Oh, happy day. <laughs> and so it's a, it's a, what is it called? It's a gospel song. It's so beautiful, yeah. It's from the 60s, and I think they say about eight words in that. Maybe it's 10 or 12. I don't know. Not very many words, but that's how beautiful it is, and you don't get sick of it. That's how you know uh, it's something great, right? In this reading, Sagittarius, we have a message in a bottle. Somebody's going to message you, and uh, there's a recognition behind it, and I always say that because that means that this is a, a very important message. That's really what that means, right? It's not, hey, what's up? What's up, cutie? Or what's, hey, what's up, uh, you know, what's up, whatever, right? It's not that. It's uh, something important. It is. The stork's here, so he usually talks about a new beginning, either that or he says, uh, Sagittarius, do you know what kind of a fish I can I can get? I think that they, yeah, I, I, maybe they, I know pelicans for sure. They get those, uh, they get the fish and uh, they scoop them up, right? But I'm not so sure about storks. They do have a really long beak. Uh, if that's what they call it, or a bill, they might call that a bill, right? Message in a bottle coming. And the never-ending story, Sagittarius, it is about uh, somebody who loves you and they can't stop loving you. Yeah, like uh, who sang that song? Oh, some really old song, right? <laughs> hey, you wouldn't know. And if, you, if I told you, you'd, be, you'd get bored, right? Yeah, you would. But uh, never-ending story, it's a number 10. This is a completion, some type of an ending. A completion is always a new beginning, right? Like if I tell you, Sagittarius, stop calling me, please, right? <laughs> Are you what, right? And so then, you know, there's a new beginning now. We don't talk, right? So yeah, it's, uh, I guess I'm having fun a little bit here today. But the heart sits underneath the fairy who is upset, never-ending story. It's in this crystal ball kind of, and she's up in the clouds. Her head's in the clouds, but she's sad. And uh, she just can't get over somebody. That's what this is about. So somebody's going to message you that they can't get over you. Yeah, they can't. And so we have the hair discernment before a passionate encounter leads to the magic of love. So the hair, this talks about somebody who really thought about this discernment, right? Yeah, it sounds like a, uh, you know, it sounds serious because it is, right? And so discernment. Mm hmm before a passionate encounter so in other words whoever is messaging you here wants to see you and when they see you this passionate encounter is going to lead to love they're already in love with you Sagittarius right here's all the jewels they have for you they do in case you like jewels do you I do and uh mm -hmm. yeah I, I really do and so so we also have the llama, right? And, uh, you know, I'm sure in South America, they maybe they call it yama. I would see, I would think so, because double L is a Y sound. Let courage lead you to seek support and overcome a fear of intimacy. This person's afraid here, or maybe they've been afraid. I'll read it like it's them. It could be you, right, Sagittarius? But let courage lead you to seek support and overcome a fear of of intimacy. This person might be afraid of you, but super in love with you, right? And you know, that could be a little Sagittarian because we kind of, sometimes we come off a little strong, right? We're just how we are. We can't help it. Uh, when Jupiter is our ruling planet, I mean, it's right. Jupiter's about everything dynamic and big and expansive and yeah, for sure. Right. So, you know, we, we really can't help it. No. And then we have the cheetah and not the cheater Sagittarius, right? The cheetah. And, uh, mm -hmm. and here he is, a decision once made will be followed by unwavering action. So I like these cards because they get, they cut to the chase, don't they? Yeah, they sure do. I think a little deeper if you, you know, we really start kind of, you know, getting into the little booklet, but this is really, uh, this person made a decision and they are coming and no, nobody or nothing will stop them. Yeah, they are coming here. And uh, they're fearless, or no, they're not really fearless. They're, I mean, they might be fearful, but uh, determined anyway, right? We just saw the llama, and he's a little afraid, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we have forgiveness and abundance. I forgive myself, I am forgiven. So maybe they did something. Maybe you did something. Maybe they're going to forgive you, right? Uh, but they're coming. This is interesting. The decision 
with the unwavering action is adjacent to forgiveness. So they're coming to ask for forgiveness. They are. And maybe they're going to pray to you, Sagittarius, right? Yeah, don't don't let them do that, Sagittarius, because that's like uh, emasculating, right? We don't want to do anything like that. Uh, I don't care what day and age we we are in. We don't we don't do those things. No, those are uh, those are like yeah. Can you imagine the, the, this uh, society? You know, sometimes they do that. That's terrible, right? Yeah, but we don't do that over here. No. And we have the two fairies at the top of the forgiveness card and they're showering this, they're like kind of putting this aura. I don't know how to explain that, uh, around this woman here. And, uh, she's like praying and the rabbits are here for fertility and abundance. Right. And we have abundance over here. Uh, but the fairies are, they, they're angels or maybe they're fairies. I'm not, they look like angels to me. Uh, but it's okay either way. And all the roses are here or yeah, they are. And, mm -hmm, or camellias, it's hard to see, but it's, uh, yeah, definitely beautiful. And then we have the gems and she's holding a rose. It looks like she's praying, uh, praying to receive love or to be forgiven. Yeah. And abundance is here. And, uh, here's the angel. Uh, she's a mermaid angel, right? And you can't get better than that, right? No, you can't. And, you know, except a Pez, Sagittarius, you know what a Pez is? It's, I want to be a Pez before I die, right? I don't need a statue. I just need to be a Pez. <laughs> That corrects me. I've thought about that, right? And uh, mm -hmm. and so uh, we have, and so this abundance, you know, she has a seashell and all these beautiful pixie dust or it comes out. And uh, remember, she's flying around, but she looks like a mermaid, which I find to be fascinating. And I say that because the bottom of her dress over here, maybe she's not a mermaid. Maybe she's just a, a you know, an angel. Oh, she has a halo. Yeah. And uh, all these gems and crystals and diamonds and all this stuff uh, are, they're just kind of coming from this cave, right? Which is very, uh, very natural. I don't think that the cave always has all these different ones in there, though. I think they have one or a couple, right? I know in Australia they have opal. Yeah, they do. And so, mm hmm, how beautiful is that? And uh, yeah, and so here she is and uh, here's another fairy down here she's definitely a fairy and so all this abundance is here and we have the stream and the flowers and everything is here the jewels the pearls and uh this person's coming they have a message this is a beautiful reading this reading is off the chain it is and before we begin sagittarius if you'd like your own psychic reading you may always get one they are accurate they're accurate and mm-hmm and yeah, if you don't know somebody, you don't trust them, you just met them, or you're in love with them, but you're kind of, you know, you kind of just want to know what's up with them, definitely get one of those. We do a tarot spread at the end. Uh, that is the best value because usually, uh, like today, I'm doing a psychic reading, but, uh, you know, sometimes there's more questions and things like that. And uh, so that is, you know, that's almost an hour. So let's get into this. And we have a free five minute psychic reading, uh, Mystic Sense does. Click on their link. And I do charts, I interpret charts, which is really the most important in your life if you really want to know about your life path. Yeah, it really is. And uh, that is to fulfill your life purpose. That's really what that's helping you do that for sure it is. And yeah, and then I do tarot and psychic readings separately as well. Let's get into this one. And six of wands reversed. Wow. And very interesting here. Uh, page of, we have two pages. So we know this person's coming, right? They might be coming afraid, like it says over here, the Lama, let courage lead you to seek support and overcome a fear of intimacy. So yeah, maybe you did something to them, Sagittarius, right? And we're not here to blame. No, we're not. And so, yeah, we don't do that kind of thing. We're just trying to point things out, uh, right? Yeah. And, you know, we do it directly because we're Sagittarius ourselves, right? Yeah, we are. And so, uh, and so we have two pages and we have this uh, message in a bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hopefully it's not, uh, you know, hopefully it's not, an, uh, uh, what is it? A vodka bottle Sagittarius, right on the ground. And that's been drunk. And then you find another one behind the couch, right? Not that kind of a message in a bottle. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And so, uh, six of wands reversed page of pentacles reversed page of pentacles sits in the challenge. Yeah. This person's coming afraid here. There, yeah, they are. And uh, mm -hmm. that's why the page is reversed. He's not in his power in the reverse. No, uh, the power that he has, right, to deliver a message. No, he will deliver it. 
and the six of wands is reversed i feel like this person has a message that they recognize you but definitely as their you know their soul soul partner but i just feel like this person is coming to tell you that something goes away in their life like they don't there's something that they're not recognizing I feel like they're also the main message here really is that they're recognizing you as a partner and it's a little, it's, it's scary for them to show up, right? Yeah. They think you're going to turn into, uh, I don't know, Frankenstein Sagittarius. I'm not really sure. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we have the page of cups and the page of cups sits here in why it's all happening. Here they are bringing you the message and they're kind of afraid and they have something here. They are, they're, they're telling you, they, the page of cups is like, uh, they're trusting their intuition about you guys being basically in a soul, having a soul contract. That's really what that is. When we have the page of cups, let's get a card on the page of pentacles reversed. It's showing up with the queen of wands. Yeah. See, and you're in the challenge, Sagittarius. You are for this person, I believe. Now, remember you have to, uh, know if this is yours or theirs, right? Or, you know, if it's about, if it's them and it's about you, right? You, you guys get that, right? And we have the Gemini card here it is this is the lovers it shows up with the ten of swords reversed okay the ten of swords reversed is you know it can be a few things but in this reading it's about rebuilding uh they made a choice here and this could be about forgiveness to try to take the ten swords possibly out of your back maybe they have you know put those in your back at some point they could have, I mean, right? And it's possible. We do have the five of swords and the five of wands. There's endings here. And I mentioned, you know, this forgiveness is a number five. That's a challenging chapter in somebody's life. Forgiveness or asking for it for sure. Uh, and the message in a bottle is uh, a recognition. Uh, here's the completion, the never ending story. So let's see why the page of cups is there. It shows up with the world and here she is the naked uh, you know, the beautiful naked, you know, younger lady. Yes, she is, uh, here with her, you know, her nice hair and her nice body and all this stuff, right? Here she is, but she's the dancer. She's celebrating her, she's celebrating a wish come true. She's celebrating closing out chapters. She's really celebrating a time in her life where she really stands in her power, where she's learned from all these other chapters that have been, you know, uh, trying and troubling and, uh, right. And you know, she says, gee, I had to go through that, but Hey, you know, it's fine because I really learned from that. In fact, I might've have not have learned had I not suffered those, you know, those particular chapters and those chapters are, you know, all within the major arcana, right? Because this is the last card in the major arcana. Yes, it is. And so, yeah. And so the mindset here is to take action. Here's a knight of wands or you, right? We can, we could, you know, say it's you. Let's get a card on that. And we have the strength card. Yeah. The mindset is to have courage here to take action or self mastery. Yeah. There's some type of major learning in this, in this reading with this world card. This is maturity. As I, I, I do say that now, you know, the, the world card can talk about travel. So, you know, in this reading, you, maybe you're traveling somewhere far. You definitely could be right. Uh, mm -hmm. and that is really kind of the only travel card here as I see it. Uh, you know, we have other ones in the deck we do. And, but, uh, yeah, this person's coming to tell you something that they want to overcome their problems with you, that they, that they're, that they've grown and changed pretty sure with that world card that they, yeah, that they're not the same person most likely here. And can you forgive me? right? It takes, it takes guts to do that. It really does. Right. I mean, I know somebody who does not want to like accept responsibility for their life entirely. So when you don't do that, that is, you know, that is your character. Once you ex ex accept responsibility, that is really what character is based upon. That's it. Taking responsibility for your life, right? Instead of blaming everybody else, even if stuff happened, you, st you still have to do that because once you do that, uh, you live, you live with, you stand in your power, but you live with, you live with love and courage. Yeah, you do. Let's see what else we have. Six of Pentacles and it shows up with the fool. So this person's coming very spontaneously here, right? This is their courage here. They're just going to jump up one day and say, I'm ready with the fool. That's what he does, right? He doesn't really get, get ready. He's got this little kind of bummy bag. Uh, we used to call them, what do we used to call them? We were little vagabonds. I think vagabonds. 
Oh, and bu hobos. Yeah, hobos. And uh, I'm not really sure where they got that uh, that hobo but word, but, you know, it could be French or whatever. The English language has so many different roots, right? But anyway, uh, the hobo, he's kind of like a hobo, right? His clothes still look good, though. But, you know, he's going somewhere, and uh, he's not planning on staying a hobo, no. He's going somewhere to make his, to start his life, to have a new beginning, and the dog supporting him, yeah, and the dog just said, you know, be careful because there's a cliff, right? Now, pay attention to what you're doing here. And, you know, this fool card shows a little bit of uh, major curiosity, a little bit of spont spontaneity, and also this kind of very hopeful, hopeful, uh, you know, thought process or perspective. The Six of Pentacles is with it. And this talks about they're going to have a they're going to have an e an equal union with you, and we know that you didn't because we have forgiveness over here. And the Ten of Swords shows up in the reading, and the Five of Swords, and you know, and uh, mm -hmm. I feel like this person could have been depressed about you. Never ending story. So we have the Queen of Cups, and here she is in the concerning message, and she shows up with the Five of Swords, and here it is twice. This is the little sister deck, right? or the big sister deck, whatever you want to call it, right? Mm -hmm. Or the mother and daughter deck. Okay, we could do that too. Or the daddy and son. All right, so anyway, a five of swords here, the concern here. There's a victory and a loss here. And the concern can be too that they have defeated you in the past, but something else might be going away here. Something could be ending, but something on their part or whoever's, you know, kind of doing this, it could be. But whatever's happened in the past, they definitely want that to end for sure. Now, there's a Queen of Cups in the concerning message. We have Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, maybe. Sagittarius or Leo or Aries here with the Queen of Wands. The world card is both Scorpio and Capricorn for me. The lovers is Gemini all day long, and the fool is Aries. So it doesn't necessarily have to be these. It, and the strength card is Leo, but we, you know, we could have, it could be anybody. Because our chart, everybody has a little bit of something. That's why, you know, don't ever say, oh, so-and-so's of this, uh, uh, they're, uh, you know, they're this sign and, uh, that's what, that's why they behave that way. I hear people talking like that. No, dude, it's, it's not, you know, because, uh, your chart is full of so many other things and, you know, and that shows that we don't, you know, when we speak, if we speak that way, we don't really know what a natal chart is really about. No, we don't. And so five of swords here, uh, with the queen of cups, this looks like, a, uh, the concern here in this reading is a victory and a loss. Uh, in love, for sure it is. It could be to be compassionate to somebody, possibly in the environment, maybe fighting, but this is definitely challenges the five of swords, right? We see a, we see some type, we see a, a loss here and they were fighting. He took their swords. These people are fighting and we have the five of swords twice. So, you know, maybe somebody's fighting here. It's, it's definitely a possibility here. And, you know, there's also, it's a potential here that there was a choice made to end something as well in order to complete something, in order to show, in order to come like as the fool, let me go, right? Doesn't mean they're a fool. No, it doesn't. Uh, this is just how they, um, this is how they call that. So he's young and spontaneous. It can be a young person sometimes, but uh, it's more of a personality. It's more of a description of somebody's actions or, you know, uh, the, the kind of the energy they are embodying. That's really more it. So I kind of like when I do a psychic reading, sometimes it comes up very symbolic and, you know, yeah. And then, you know, and then I make sense from there for sure. Five of wands, page of wands. So we have all these pages. We have three pages here, right? So we almost have a book. Just kidding, Sagittarius, right? And maybe you wrote a book with this person in the past or, you know, but this here in the environment is the five of wands and the page of wands talks about, uh, this is a new direction. Yeah. The page of wands is going somewhere. He's this, you know, he, he has his wand. This is for movement, taking action based on the wands itself. Yeah. Courage and, and action really. So, you know, here he is and he's on a new path. This is a change of direction and it's with the five of wands in the environment. And, you know, maybe somebody's fighting with your person, possibly there's kind of a lot of victory and defeat here, like in this little area here, but, and here's the 10 of swords here, but they could be fighting here. The five is also, they're all challenging and we have three fives in the reading. So, and that also, this can be a renewal, uh, sometimes the five of, uh, the page of wands with the five of wands, 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it could be challenging for your person. They may be across the world here. We do have the world card. They could be across the world where they are trying to come to you and it's very challenging. I can tell in this reading that somebody is on their way to you and it's been challenging to get here, to reach you, to come. They're not here yet, right? Unless, you know, this already happened because time is, it's not really real. Everything happens at the same time. And I know that's kind of weird, right? I'm sure it is, uh, right? Even Greg Braden says that. And, right? and so two of Pentacles showing up. If you guys don't know Greg Braden, go see what he what he says about the coming age watch that video definitely a new age or the coming age uh it's on it's here on this platform greg Braden. uh yeah he has two g's g-r-e-g-g -G -G. Braden. let's see what we got two of pentacles showing up here and this is in the hope and desire we have the six of swords so the six of swords can be travel as the world card uh this is but this is wondering whether uh, whether or not uh your person's going to get to the place that they want. In other words, maybe if you'll be receiving them at the other end of this shore, possibly. But the Six of Swords can be seen as a change, a transition. It can be seen as an ending. It can be seen as travel. It can be seen as, uh, I'm trying to get to a better place in my life, definitely, and leaving the past behind, right? Five of Swords shows up, Sagittarius, in the potential outcome with the Empress reversed. OMG. Uh, somebody might be a mom here and they're losing their relationship, maybe. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, here we have the Two of Pentacles again. This is wondering. This person's really wondering. That's why there's fear to come forward, but they're going to overcome it. Let courage lead you. We have lead you to seek support and overcome a fear of intimacy. Here we have the Strength card in the upright. And this right here in the potential outcome shows, uh, I'm wondering here if this could be wondering if like wondering if somebody knows here kind of what's going on. Maybe there's an empress, a mother figure possibly, but this can also be like, I wonder if, if there's a defeat here, if I can make my dreams come true, it's a possibility here. There is some type of a defeat. As I say, whatever's being left behind here with this transition, the six of swords is change. Uh, right. Interesting. They call the death card in another deck I have that I'm going to be using soon here, uh, is they call the six of swords, uh, they call the death card transition. Yeah. Right. So let's get one more card on the outcome. King of Pentacles could be a Virgo Taurus or Capricorn. Libra can be the Empress. The 10 of Pentacles is reverse. Something ends a breakup, something like that. It's possible. It's a belief system because the Pentacles are, you know, they're, they're, they're based on belief systems. And we have, you know, the two of Pentacles, the six, and you know, we kind of, we have a few, we don't have a terrible amount of Pentacles here. No, we don't. But uh, there's a, there's a victory and a loss in this reading. And it is all because I want, I want forgiveness, right? And I, this person's coming unwavering Sagittarius. Yeah. You know, if they see the, the mean witch on the way, like, you know, in the, in the wizard of Oz, they're still coming. They might be petrified like Dorothy. Remember, do you guys remember that? <laughs> Dorothy, we're going to end this reading. Thanks so much for joining me. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell for any notifications. Thanks so much, you guys. Get your psychic reading.